Well, as you know by now, a fire shut down Tulsa's ability to recycle, and it's been a mess for nearly 10 months. Now it's all fixed up, and recycling will start again next month. So this Monday, the recycling pickup will change. News on 6's Emery Bryant has details on what's changing and what's not. It's been a confusing scene every trash day since last April. That's when a fire shut down this plant that processed the recyclables. Since then, though, people put out their green carts for trash and blue carts for recycling. It's all been picked up at the same time with the same truck and hauled to the same place, an incinerator that burns it all and generates steam for Tulsa's refinery. The city figures 15,000 tons of recyclables was burned. That's changing soon, and next week, the city wants people to start separating recyclables again and leaving only recyclables in the blue cart. Come Monday, if those cans are contaminated, they will not be serviced. We really want to focus on having clean and loose recyclables in the blue recycling cart. Tulsa Recycle and Transfer is still rebuilding their processing plant, which was delayed, they say, by supply chain issues with the new equipment. They hope to start it again in the next month. For the city, it's been a balancing act of trying to keep good habits going while the recycling system wasn't working. We've, we've been telling people to continue to uh, separate the recycling uh, for the past year, just so they wouldn't get out of their recycling habits. The city's list of acceptable recyclables hasn't changed, and it's listed on the top of the carts. It's limited to cardboard and paper, aluminum and steel cans, plastic bottles and jugs, and glass bottles and jars. The city really wants to discourage people from trying to recycle batteries. It was a small lithium battery about this size they believe started the fire that shut the whole system down. In Tulsa, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.